Okay guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial lesson from the Apex Predator Billiards Club Training. My name is Apex Lenio and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a kick system that helps you to actually pocket an object ball that is lying near to the side pocket. Of course, a lot of the times, a lot of players will use feel for kicking I know a lot of you guys may not necessarily be entertained or be or you're resonating with the mathematical calculations behind the kicking but personally for me adding a bit of math adding a bit of calculation will improve the level of consistency will develop and improve the level of confidence in you already understanding and knowing the path of the cue ball when you're traveling along the rails so a lot of the times when players will try to kick at an object ball, let's say that you're hooked and you have to try to kick at the one, a lot of players will perhaps just kind of feel and if they feel what they'll do is that they'll do something like so and they'll get close and they will miss. So that closeness that you're actually getting to, we want to improve that closeness of pocketing or touching your object ball by adding this numerical kick system. For those of you who are not yet aware of the two rail kick system that I have already done on my channel, a link is down in the description and of course a link is right here in the cards for you where you can actually learn the, the diamond numberings for kicking at an object ball that is along the side rail. But now we are kicking at an object ball that is near to the side pocket and we don't want to miss and not only do we not not only do we not want to miss we actually want to make the ball and it's relatively easy because it's hanging in the pocket so let's see exactly how it is that we can just use some basic subtraction here to make contact with that object ball if this is the first time here on the channel consider smashing that subscribe button below turning on your post notification bell to be notified whenever i post leave me a like leave me a comment and of course share this out to your pool communities let's get onto the practice table and see what the system is all about. All right, guys. So for those who are not aware of the diamond numbers for the cue ball, of course, check the link in the description box below. Check that video out. It's very useful to you. But quickly here, the cue ball value starting from this diamond here is 15 and we start to increase by five. So this is 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Of course, this is connected with the Three rail, uh, three rail system. Again, a link is in the description box below to understand why we call this diamond pocket 50. Okay, and as we bend the corner and we come around to the short rail, then this becomes 60, 70, 80. All right. So now, what is the value of the object ball that is hanging in the side pocket? I assign the value 42. All right, because we don't want to come behind the side pocket, which is 40. We want to come just in front so that's 42 so let's say for example i'm just going to make it very easy here i'm going to block myself from the one i am in line with the first diamond here and now all i'm trying to do here is try to go two rails and try to make the one so very simple we subtract the cue ball's position from the we subtract the object ball's position pardon me from the cue ball's position and that gives us our aiming point on the side rail so 42 away from 60 and that will give us 18 so if we are to aim at 18 here with a bit of left spin and we're going to find that cue ball coming two rails in towards the side pocket and that was nicely done there okay I, some table may need a little bit of left spin. Your table, you may just need to use high tops. And of course, it kind of depends on the slickness of the cloth. Remember, every table plays differently depending on the condition of the cloth and the humidity of the area you're playing in. So for that shot, I didn't require no more than just an eighth of the uh, left spin in that case. So here, let's replace this ball here. Go to 70, let's block ourselves by the six. We have to make contact with the two. The aim is really to make contact, but you have a really good chance here of pocketing the two. So here, 
I'm at 70. If I take 42 from 70, I'll get 28. So here, 28. Nicely done there, all right? You're gonna find yourself making this ball a lot with this system. Let's go here all the way over to 80. If we take 42 away from 80, we're gonna find that the value here is 38. So 38 is just above the bottom half of the side pocket facing here. Ooh, that was close. Let's try that one more time. It's a bit more right uh, left spin for that one. And that was nicely done there. All right, I got, a, I got close on a few attempts. That was actually my third attempt in trying to make the shot, okay? But with this system here, you're gonna find you making this shot a lot that is in the side pocket. Here, let's go in between that diamond to show you that it works. So now I'm just gonna go at say here 65. If I take 42 from 65 mathematically, you're gonna find that the answer here is gonna be 23. So if I aim here at 23, that was nicely done there. You're gonna find that you get that shot into the side. So you have to be aware that your table may play a little bit different from mine, but just a little bit of adjustment, maybe just aiming a bit higher up above the calculated value, adding a bit more right spin, or removing the spin may give you more consistency in making that shot, all right? So I do hope that you enjoy that little content there. Of course, do not forget to smash the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell, drop a like, leave me a comment, and share this out to your poor communities. Do take care until next time. This is Apex Alenio signing out for another kicking session. Get onto the practice table, build your game with consistency, precision, accuracy, and control. Do take care until next time. Peace.